Sally here. So to begin, I'm going to be using a size G crochet hook. And I'm just going to make the slip knot by wrapping the yarn around my finger twice. And then I'm just going to grab the string on the left and pull it over the one on the right. And I'm going to do that twice. The second time I'm just going to pull it all the way down and tighten it. And that is how I make this slip knot. Okay, so next I'm going to start by chaining four chains. And this is going to count as our first double crochet. Okay, so next I'm just going to yarn over and go into the first chain that we started with. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my tail and wrap it around the crochet hook. Next, I'm going to grab from the feed, pull out a loop, and then pull through twice. So, one, and two. Okay, so that is our second double crochet and now we are just going to put another 10 more double crochets for a total of 12 double crochets and that's including the chain 4 in the beginning. And then we'll meet at the next row. Okay, so now that you have 12 double crochets, including the chain 4 in the beginning, we're just going to count just to make sure, and then you can grab your little tail that we crocheted over and tighten it. And then we're just going to slip stitch together. Okay, so into the top of the chain 4. Next, I'm going to begin row number two by chaining two. And then in that same stitch, I'm just going to place another double crochet. Next, I'm just going to place two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And then once you're finished with this row, then we'll move on to row number three and we'll meet there. So for row number three, I'm going to begin by chaining two and then on the next stitch, I'm just going to place my increase of two double crochets. And then on the next one, I'm just going to do one double crochet. And then we're going to keep this pattern going by placing an increase of two double crochets into every second stitch. And we're going to do this all the way around. So one double crochet, then two double crochets. One double crochet, then two double crochets. And so on all the way around. So this is how your row should end. It should end with an, an increase on the last stitch. So if you guys do this, then you're on the right track. And next I'm just going to slip stitch 
and then begin row number four by chaining two okay so next we are just going to place one double crochet into the next stitch and then we are going to place the increase on every third stitch for this row okay so one double crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase on the third stitch okay so again one double crochet on the next two stitches and then an increase on the third stitch and we're just going to do this all the way around and then we'll meet for row five So for row number 5, I'm going to begin by chaining 2 and then I'm just going to place 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches and then on the 4th stitch, I'm just going to place my increase of 2 double crochets Again, I'm just going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches and then on the fourth stitch I'm going to place my increase of two double crochets and we're going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around until we meet for the next row So for row number 6, I'm just going to begin by chaining 2 and then I will just place 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitches and then on the 5th stitch I'm going to place my increase of 2 double crochets. Okay, so again, one double crochet into the first four stitches. And then on the fifth stitch, I'm going to place my increase of two double crochets. And then we're going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around. And then we'll meet for row number seven. So for this row, I'm just going to begin by chaining two. And then I will just be placing one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. 